Good evening, subscribers. My name is Ara. This is Ray. Ray. And we are making the channel the Low Limit Poker Challenge, which right now is currently 25 sessions of me versus Ray on the 1 2 No Limit Tables, which is by far the most popular game that people play. So, this is a special video series. We're just going to take three minutes of your time and talk about the worst play of the day. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, for those of you out there that don't know, um, something kind of cool is going on right now. They have the World Series of Poker main event day 1a live on tv uh which is really cool because most of the time when you watch uh world series of poker um you know someone has two pairs someone has bottom set you know it's only on tv because the guy who has top two pairs is going to suck out and hit one of his four outs but since it's live um it's like watching regular poker and um it's pretty fun and interesting to be watching day one because you got a lot of regular people some one two players some two five players they're not all dan and legron and professional guys out there but anyway, with that being said, worst play of the day. Um, so, worst play of the day is when someone's sitting at the table with like maybe 20 or 30 big blinds um, and they do not add on. One, if you're going to sit there and play the game, add on so that if you actually catch a hand, you can make some money. Um, but usually it's the end of the night and people are in a double up or go home mood, which is a terrible way to play the game. Um, because you usually are going home and you're not doubling up. So to give you a quick example, the other day, um, a couple people had limped in, a guy in you know middle to late position goes and raises to 12. Uh, I'm on the button, I re-raise to $40, and one of the guys who limps in goes and just shoves his last $48 all in. Um, the original $12 guy folds, and I end up having pocket queens. Um, so I call the extra $8, in this situation, the guy ended up having ace nine. Is that really the hand that you want to either double up or go home with? No, but that's what a lot of people do. If he had more money on the table, he would have absolutely folded and not lost any more than $2. Uh, but because he only had $48, he put it in, the flop came out, and the flop did not improve his ace nine. I win the pot right there. So if you're going to continue and play, Definitely add on. And, well, I mean, and actually tell people like what time of the day this usually happens or what type of people actually do this. This is end of the night when people are ready to go home. Um, it could happen any time of the day, but it always happens late night. You're there 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning and people are just miserable with the game and they're ready to go home. But it also happens at 7, 8, 9 p.m. when people are playing after work and they know that they have to leave and go home and they don't want to have just played a four or five hour session after they got out of work and end up down 75 or 100 bucks. So they get the double up or go home mentality which is a terrible play. Um, definitely add on and play to win the game or just take your $48 and go home. Um, that's 24 big blinds. If yeah, nobody ever wants to do that. Nobody ever wants to take the last 48 If you're bucks. keeping track, um, $48 um, towards your average is much, much better than negative $48 in that situation. And let me just add on that, you know, when we keep track of our averages, uh, we can look back and see... Um, when were our, our good sessions and our bad sessions. And um, in general, now we don't have like exact specific times for each day that we play, but just in general, we can see that our late night sessions are generally about twice as good as our daytime sessions. So to really give you like a rough ballpark, if I average $30 an hour playing one, two overall, I probably average $40 an hour when I'm playing at like three after o'clock or four o'clock in the Anytime morning. Anytime after midnight. Yeah. And then during and you, the afternoon and before midnight, probably at 20 bucks an hour. Yeah, exactly. People so, are tighter and they just don't do the dumb things that they do late night. Yeah, and th these dumb things, they really add up. And it only seems like a little bit, like an extra 28 here, an extra 35 there. But because the daytime players are much less likely to make those type of mistakes, uh, it really pads your average. It, it really does. All right. So speaking of dumb things, one thing that this guy does which is dumb um and this also goes with that um this is unscripted i don't even know what he's about to say play of the day is now that guy who's sitting at the table with like 30 or 40 dollars you need to pay attention to his chip stack because if you you know are an aggressive play and you're raising pre-flop with yeah. pretty much anything and you're gonna continuation bet on a good majority of the flops that do not look super scary you have to remember the guy on the other side of the table only has $27 left so when you go out and you make your continuation bet for $20 you have to make sure that this guy with $27 is actually willing to fold it most people aren't because now he's getting such good pot odds that if he catches any piece of that flop or he has any even slight 
drawer. He's just throwing in his last $27. Now you're like, what the yeah, hell did I do that for? Ah, uh, I should have just checked and lost the hand. But no, I lost $27 <laughs> more than I should have. And that's one mistake this guy makes by not paying attention to the extremely short stack players who are in a go home, uh, double up or go home mode. Yeah. So definitely I'm pay attention. To the waitress and, you know, I'm barely paying attention to the game anymore at this point. I'm just like raising with Jack Nine off Sue. Sea betting with like you know a ten on the flop and nothing else. Yeah. And uh, guy goes all in for like eight dollars more, and I always end up calling. You so. have to call the eight dollars in case you catch runner runner or something. Yeah. But four it, out of five times I end up losing an extra twenty. Pay attention to the extremely short stacks at the table before you make a bluff because they don't fold. I mean they're getting like three or four to one on their money at this point. How can they fold? It's not. It's the right play is to call or put your money in when you catch middle or bottom pair against the guy who's probably sea betting. So anyway, that is worst plays of the day. Um, uh, we will definitely come up with some more. Hopefully, when we head off to our next session, which will be in an hour or so, yes. we'll uh, catch somebody else in another worst play of the day. And so. right after this, we're going to upload our super special session 10 video. We're going to give you all the averages, the breakdown, the hourly averages, the session averages, all that stuff. Uh, I'm still in the lead, but it's going to be cool to hear. And we hope to give you uh, some exciting news about some main event seats coming up. Yeah, Thanks, just, guys. Just remember, the main event is actually on TV. It's really interesting to watch because this is live and this is what people are actually doing. Like and it's real right now. life people playing. They're not just showing the hands that turn into like quads and straight flush over, you know, full house. They're actually showing every hand. And most of them are just like bet, fold, fold, fold. Bet, full, 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 just like it is at the casino. It's not crazy poker going on. Uh, so I'm really enjoying watching day one of the World Series of Poker on ESPN2 right now. All right, guys. See you later. Bye, guys.